help countries to manage the environment uh, in a way that benefits them. So it's not just managing the environment for the sake of the environment, it's helping them to manage the environment so that they also enjoy any economic benefits that uh, are derived from uh, those activities. Four out of the six uh, lowest countries uh, in the world are located in the Pacific. Kiribati and Tuvalu, for example, are no more than, at the highest point, uh, less than two meters. So we're talking about very vulnerable countries, remote from markets, um, fragile ecosystems, um, surrounded by ocean. We're about 98% ocean and 2% land. And because we're small, we are able to see that the impacts are a lot more pronounced than, than other countries. We might be small, but we, we need to have hope because for us, climate change is not just a matter of transitioning your economy. It's a lot more than that. It's more to do with our, our ability to survive. And so it affects us at the community level. It affects us at every level of society. So climate forecasting, if that information is made available to those sectors, in particular those who are in decision-making uh, uh, positions, that will enable these sectors to, to make their planning a lot more effective. So farmers will know, well, is there going to be rain in the next three to six months? So they will be able to um, plan their activities accordingly. Likewise, fishermen, they'll be able to plan their activities uh, uh, well in advance. Tourism. Climate is so important. Tourism is now the number one income generator of revenues for these countries. We've been seeing the impact of climate change for many years. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's why we're so passionate when we speak about it. It's, you know, we're not speaking from a perspective of, well, it could happen or perhaps maybe in the next 20 years. No, that is not the case. Um, some of our small island states, uh, uh, um, it's predicted that they will go under this you know, go under the sea um, in the next uh, 100 years or so. Um, and so that, if that doesn't inspire you to advocate uh, your interests, um, then I'm not so sure what else will inspire you. I think that's, you, um, you, you have no choice but to speak up.